Good morning and kia ora. Welcome to a magic Monday. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling start. I am Helen Brahms coming to you live from Mesa in Arizona. This is an awesome, this is, you know, it's a really great day of the week because it's Monday. It's the beginning of a brand new week. You start with the week with a clean slate because remember Friday we finish everything off and we're ready to start a brand new week. I am super, super excited about this week. I start a new project this week. Um, and um, we were out for our walk this morning. This, my dog is so funny. So we wake up this morning. Zephy's kind of awake. And she starts yawning. And of course, as you know, yawns are contagious. If you haven't been around somebody yawning and not yawned, um, just think about that. Yawns are contagious. So Zephy yawns, so I yawn. Then she yawns. I, and so we're doing this yawning backwards and forwards for about five, ten minutes. That was hilarious. And she's trying to hide her nose underneath the blanket so that I can't see her yawning. Or she's trying to pretend that she can't see me yawning. But then you can see her mouth go like this under the blanket. Um, so we had a really fun start to the morning this morning. We, were then, we then went out for our walk. And as she normally does, she looks around. And she caught the side of the mail carrier's truck across two rows. And she started getting all excited because when she sees that truck, she knows that Chris is coming and she gets a treat from Chris. But it was early in the morning. It is not Chris's usual time. So I thought she must be doing a parcel run or it's somebody else. So I thought, I wonder what happens if we're over at the dog park when they go past, what Ziffy's going to, what Ziffy's going to do. Well, it turned out she didn't come back down the row. She was actually doing a parcel drop and we, um, and we're walking back up, um, back up the street to the RV and I can hear a vehicle behind us. And we're just like meandered across the road and hear a vehicle behind us. Well, Ziffy stops, turns around and she just stays there. Like I'm going, come on, let's get going. And she's on the edge of the lot and she's just looking down the street. And I turn and look and here comes the mail carrier truck, stops right in front of us. Chris is driving. She's doing the parcel run. Um, she gives Ziffy her treat and then gives me a box. And I'm like, a box? She says, yeah, I've got a package. She says, I'm just doing the parcel run right now. She says, I'll be back later with the mail. I'm like, okay. And um, then I suddenly realized, oh yeah, my textbook has arrived. So, sorry, I'm in the process of, I've already started reading it. So this is my textbook, Professional Genealogy. Preparation, Practice, and Standards. This book is used by a lot of classes that, um, continuing education classes that I'm doing with genealogy. Um, there's even a study program around this book as well. Um, but they recommend that you do, the study program can be done at any time, but they recommend that you do the study program, which is basically going through um, this entire book chapter by chapter. And there are, hang on, however many chapters there are in here. Um, and you meet once a month, once a month, and there's certain areas of the book that you have to go through and that sort of stuff. So I am super excited. I sat down and I just started reading it. I just got off my first, my morning training session. Um, I'm ready to dive back into it again, but I know I have to have breakfast first. So I guess I will be reading this during breakfast. Um, but since there's so many classes, online classes that I'm looking at taking and different study programs that use this book as a textbook, it, it made it worth it while getting it because... And the thing that I like about it is there's a lot of white space on these pages. Um, let me just see if I can ah, see lots of white space, so I can write notes and stick post-its on here. And you all know how I love my highlighters and my colored pens and things. And I even have doodling room, room to doodle. <laughs> yes, I do doodle in my books. Um, so I've got room to write notes, which is what I love. It's well spaced out, which means I'm. Um, not going to look at a page of just words and go, oh crap, there's a lot of words on there. No, this is beautifully spaced out. Um, good spaces between each paragraph. The white, the margins, great for writing notes in. Um, I'm not having to worry about if I put a post-it on here that it's going to cover over half the words and I have to peel the post-it off every time. So I love the layout of this book and it's like that all the way through. So um, now I've got to go back to where, oh there I was. Um, so I am really going to love diving into this, but... I have only 40 minutes to get some reading done on this before I have to go and, um, yeah. So i got to go have breakfast. I've got 40 minutes to have breakfast before I start my first project of the day. Then I get to stop for lunch, and then I get to start my next project of the day. And then I'm into calls, um, into training calls this evening. So um, what is magic about Mondays is that it's a fresh, brand new start to a brand new week. We're starting with a clean slate. I already have my week planned out for me. I took some time yesterday to do that. Um and get the week organized and everything else. And I am so committed to being on point this week um, that it is not even funny. <laughs> I am so committed to it. And I have found 
um, over the last few days, I've just been, I've got this big playlist that has a massive amount of songs in it, and it's all different genres from different eras. Um, I was listening to it yesterday, yeah, yeah, yesterday when I was sitting reading. I just had it playing in the background, and um, Peter, Paul, and Mary's Puff the Magic Dragon comes on. I'm like, oh my gosh, I never realized I had that in my playlist, but it was there. So there's lots of songs that I'm very familiar with that come on, and then there's songs I'm sort of like, oh, I don't think I know that song, so I might pause and listen to it for a little bit, but then I'm straight back into it again. But the music has been helping me focus a lot more. Um, and Zephy's decided that she wants to take up dancing with me. So yesterday, during our training, we did some dancing. And um, although she just stands there with her front paws in my hands, and that's her idea of dancing. Although she did do a couple little steps yesterday, but I think it was more trying to get her balance. <laughs> but anyway, so this is a brand new week. What projects do you have this week? Sit down, write three things Three important things that you are going to get done this week that you have to get done this week. Just three. Schedule it, then schedule it. Write them down onto grab post-its. Write one pro, one thing you are going to get done this week. Write it on a post-it. Three things. So each post each each one thing per post-it note. Stick it where you can see it. So it could be down the side of your computer screen. It could be wherever you sit where you would see it all the time to remind you. Then make sure that you schedule time to do that project into your calendar this week so you can get it done. And then at the end of the week, the idea is, is that these three post-it notes have been screwed up and tossed into the trash because those projects are now done. So that's what that's what you're going to do today for your Magic Monday. And it, believe me, this is a really great way to start a week. It's to start off with three post-it notes, schedule them into your calendar as you complete each one, screw them up and toss them into the bin. And go, yes! or done, or another one bites the dust, another one bites the dust, Whoosh. there you go, there's a good one, sound effects and all, um, <laughs> but make it a very magical day, it is the beginning of a brand brand new week, I love Mondays, it's, um, to me, it's, um, it is a, fr it's a fresh start every week for me, and I just love them, because I think most people don't like Mondays, it's like, I'm gonna go to work, so make it fun, find something fun to make about Mondays, what fun things can you do today? That can make it a magical day. Find something fun in the day. Um, i got to make sure my Christmas list, I think my Christmas list is done. No, my Christmas list needs to be sent. And I have until tomorrow to get it sent because they've given us the deadline of the 15th to ensure that it arrives by Christmas. So I need to get my holiday cards out. Um, have you got your holiday cards out yet? If not, give me a call and I'll help you get them out in less than 30 minutes. Um, and um, what else can we do? That's it. Go start the week, a magical week. Go spread the joy to other people because you know there's going to be people out there who probably feel like they need about 10 cups of coffee. I've got my lemon, was it? Lemon, ginger, and, and manuka honey tea right here. And um, that's my start for the week. It's my caffeine. It doesn't actually have caffeine in it. You don't want to see me on caffeine. <laughs> Used to go to my BNI group meetings and I would be this bubbly and sparkly before 7 o'clock in the morning and they were sort of like, you need to lay off the coffee. And I looked at them and said, I don't drink coffee. And the looks on their faces were priceless. This are like, you wake up like this every morning. I'm like, yep. Because I am the type of woman when my feet hit the floor in the morning, the devil says, oh crap, she's up. And with that, go have a super fantastic, sparkling, magical Monday. And we'll catch you guys later. Heck on it up.